Welcome everybody to a new episode of Mafia 2. Let's answer the phone and see what happens. Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a uh, Vito? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Oh. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty. And now he done just gone playing salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. Ooh. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. All right. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? <laughs> hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man. All right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock <laughs> the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. All right, everybody, let's go and pick up Joe. Seems like he's having some troubles. Not doing so good. That's, that's where our leather jacket we're going to. Go to a pub. Okay, our car is in the garage. Not taking this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. We're taking that one here. Of course we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That was a nice lady of the night there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to the corners here. Kind of... Yeah, kind of tired after the weekend today. Because, yeah, a friend... A uh, couple of friends came to London this weekend. And I met them there on Saturday. And then I went back here and... We had, might have had a little bit of, of a boost, of the boost, and we walked and looked at a lot of things, uh, so yeah, I walked around 34 kilometers this weekend, <laughs> and drank a lot of booze and did not sleep much, so yeah, I'm kind of beat, but that doesn't stop me from playing Mafia 2, never, never, so, let's see, knock at the door, oh, Vito, you Hi. here, where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door. And just give me a minute with him. Hey there, Joe. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, it's about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh. <laughs> right. You drive here? Cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You Come fellas on. about to leave? Marty. I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so sorry, <coughs> kid. This never should have happened. In the door. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus. Ah, shit. Oh, crap, God, Joe. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right. Ah, oh, dang it, Joe. God damn it, Joe. Uh, drag the body. Dang it. Drag it here. Well, that's, that's, that's not good. Go through here. God damn it, Joe. We'll just have to kill everybody. Hey there, buddy. So we're putting him in the trunk. Yeah. Looks like it. Well, thank you for the help, Joe. It's your a good helper. That poor guy. Jesus. Take Joe home.
Uh oh, uh oh, oh, there we go. Didn't even touch it. Dang it. Oh, don't hit me. I have a body in the trunk. Not for the second time since I came out of jail. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, I was. Oh, crap. Police want to arrest me. Why do they want to arrest me? Why do you guys want to arrest me? Leave me alone. I was just joking that I have a body. I don't really have a body in the trunk. Come on. Just kidding, officers. Run. Pretty silent crowd. They're not even talking yet. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting away. Getting away. Please. Please. Yeah, we're losing them. And they didn't get the license plate. Oh, yeah. That's the good part. I don't know why they were chasing us. It doesn't say, like, we were wanted or anything. Hmm. It's interesting. Run, run, Rudolph. Why? Why, am I, why do I have a Christmas song on my head? Jeez. I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know why. Pretty deep voice today. <laughs> yeah, there. Ooh, ooh. Uh, mm hmm and The police. Police, come on. Police, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody. Move your body. Yeah. I'm in a singing mood. Don't know why. Don't really have the voice for it today, but <laughs> I'm kind of in a singing mood. Hmm. Interesting. No, 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 no. Do not want to hit you. No one hit you, man. Okay. And the sounds of these bricks. The road sounds like we have a flat tire, but we don't. So, we dropped Joe off here. Alright, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. <laughs> and hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just... Call me tomorrow, okay? Oh, Joe. Drop the body. I dump the body, not drop the body. It's supposed to be dumb. Dumb. Going a little bit left. Ow! <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so yeah, today are oh, four days until I leave for Iceland, so uh, there will be a lot of recording these days, hopefully. Nothing will mess up, so I can just buckle down and pre-record a lot of stuff for you guys. There we go, now we got Oh! Oof! <laughs> and yeah, hopefully that will work. That will be good. It will be good. So, where are we taking this body? Like, I played through this game two or three times, so I still don't remember everything. I can't remember the gist of things, but I don't remember what we do with this body. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, oh, right, now I remember. I remember what we do with the body. Gangster style. There we go. And go up here, I think. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, shit, what a day. I should go home now. Yeah, get money for crushing cars. <laughs> Even though there, there's a body in them. Let's take this car. This is a nice car. Let's just. Should we try to pick lock it? Maybe we should.
There we go. Right. Now oh, let's go. No one will know. No one will ever know. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! There's a jump. There's a jump. And a half. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. He, he was angry. That guy was angry, man. Come on. Take a chill pill. Take a chill pill. Run, run, Rudolph. I don't. I'm not even the right song. I'm just singing Run, Run, Rudolph. Different. <laughs> different songs. Well, that's. Uh, hmm. Easy. So, we're going home to advance the study. Here's the police, Popo. Nothing to see here, Popo. Okay. Oh! Car, but that was, that was pretty damn. Oh, that was too close. And the police didn't say anything about it. Well, that's lucky, I guess. I'm guessing. Oh. Doing good. I'm a great driver. I don't know what Thor was talking about. I'm a fabulous driver. Oh. Everybody stop. Come on. See? Amazing. Amazing driver. Amazing, I tells ya. This bar thing is starting to be a habit of mine. I'm starting to use it way too much. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I enjoy it. Don't know why. Move away. So, what garage is this? Park it in here and make it ours. Yeah. Can fit many cars in this little garage. So we're home, let's have a sandwich or something. Or, or just yeah. Cola or something. Mmm. Health. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> what? Bedroom? Go to bed. And someone's at that door. Who the hell is that? Who the hell is that? That's as the door. Oh, change my clothes. I need to change. Of course, I can't be in my underwear. Uh, shirt. Yeah, that's it. Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Oh, sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Okay, I was just muting my phone when this notification came up. God damn. But I cut it short a little bit, so it wasn't too loud, but it was very pretty well, close I to guess the you know dead, along with everybody else. Hmm. Strange. Listen, Vito, I know Whoa. Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this why? Well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you, but he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe you think you could put in a good word for me. Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Vito. He's like I an okay guy. One. Yeah, you owe me one. Of course you do. So, uh... How's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea nope. what you're talking about. That's funny. Because a buddy of Joe's got popped in a parking lot <coughs> that day. Ah. Just just you you in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Copy that. Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah. 
Yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? Yeah, we're free. You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? Yeah. It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fuck a mustache. I saw you <laughs> two perks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Forever again? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you did what you had to do. What? You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Oh, the yeah. mustache was great, man. And I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. <laughs> Enough or nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. <laughs> Joe is a kid. Genius. Red light means stop. No, it doesn't. Not in my dictionary. Well, it's... Oh, it's okay. We're okay. How far do we have to go to get a drink? Jeebus. This dialogue was not long enough for this trip. Well, almost. Oh, okay. There was police. I'm amazing. I am amazing at this. There we go. Now we're at the bar, restaurant. We're gonna have a drink. Yeah. Hey, hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who worked for Clementi called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Oh, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. Ah, okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> he is? <laughs> All right, go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the camp. Yeah, I understand. 
Well, looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it. Don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay. You better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. Man. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. Eddie. See you. Man, killing her old friend? Jesus. Yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and next. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue this mission, I think, <laughs> next time. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Bye bye.